Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Four wines, in fact, to be three of them from New Zealand, uh, but one, I don't know why I plonked this English one at the start. Well, I do know why I plonked it there. It's been sitting there waiting to be slotted into a uh, coherent group uh, for quite a while, and uh, I thought, I'm not really going to get round to tasting it at this stage, so uh, just thought I'd stick it in here. And I'm going to start with that one. Uh, it is uh, Naito, that's the name of the winery, and the grape is Madeleine Angevine, 2011 vintage, and it's from Vineyards in South Cornwall. Give it a whirl. There's a couple of things going on here. There's a, a, what I call a greenness about it. So there's, uh, you get a little touch of grassiness and nettles. Um, uh, and then there's also something that seems a little bit softer and richer. Uh, I think of it as the icing that you get on uh, dolly mixtures and uh, Turkish delight. Just that little dusting of icing sugar. Um, but uh, fruit-wise, it's, yes, a little touch of the, the green apple and citrus. And when you come to taste it, there's a floral uh, note about it. Um, I think that uh, that touch of uh, what I was called the icing sugar, um, it's, uh, I think they've left it with just a little touch of sweetness to round out um, uh, the acidity and they've done a pretty reasonable job there. I, I'd almost like a little bit more sharp, more of the uh, that green nettly edge in there. Uh, but just, yeah, nice, uh, tangy and fresh, uh, a bit fuller bodied than I was expecting and um, a nice start to the, the uh, tasting. Let's go on to wine number two. So next three, all from New Zealand. Um, and first one is uh, Villa Maria Pinot Grigio uh, from the East Coast, 2011 vintage. I have to say it's not jumping out of the glass uh, too much at the moment. I, mean, I get a general soft, gentle fruitiness. Uh, not much aroma. Uh, doesn't feel. It feels like it's going to be all right. It feels like it's going to be a bit Pinot Grigio-like. And when you taste it, there's a little bit of apple. A little bit of a ripe red apple, a little bit of peach, um, maybe a touch of sweetness there too. Uh, and it, it's no, by no means a sweet wine, but I think uh, they're just a, a touch to uh, give it a little bit more roundness. It's okay. It's um, I'd probably be looking for something else if I wanted a second glass of something. Uh, maybe wine number three is, is what I should be looking for. Uh, next two are both from the Esque Valley Winery. Uh, which is a sister winery to Villa Maria. Uh, and so the first one is a 2011 Marlborough Dry Riesling. Let's give it a whirl. I still get some of that, uh, what I call candied softness, not candied as in candied camera, uh, but uh, candied with a little, uh, yeah, a little touch of icing sugar. Um, but behind it here, there's a, a little bit more uh, sweetness of fruit. Um, so there's the, the the very ripe citrus. There's the um, uh, the yeah, ripe, like ripe oranges, fresh, and also maybe a touch of the crystallised orange in there, uh, and even something getting a little bit more exotic, mango-like. Um, smells like it's going to uh, have quite fleshy fruit, but um, if I know Riesling, it's going to have a little bit of uh, backbone to sustain it all. Yeah, and that's uh, they've they've done pretty well with that. Um, it's got the roundness and juiciness of fruit. And then this, um, some people will call it sh sharpness, um, I call it zestiness, uh, just something to perk it all up. Um, and uh, so you, your mouth's left having, uh, knowing that it's had quite a fleshy wine, uh, I think it's had 13 and a half alcohol, 13, 13% alcohol. But then this citrus freshness comes in, cleans up your mouth and makes you think, where's the next prawn coming from? I'm going to have another sip, I do like that. Yeah, there's a touch of lime and there's a stoniness about it that's coming through as well. Um, yeah, I, I, I like that. I do like that. Right. See, so let's see whether their Vodellos are even uh, better. Uh, we're in a different part of New Zealand here. So this is Esk Valley again. Hawke's Bay uh, Vodello 2012. Let's give this one a whirl. Well, it's strange seeing Vodello coming from uh, New Zealand. I can't think of too many uh, examples. Uh, Australia's got a few. It's got some in the Hunter Valley. It's got some over in Western Australia. But, um, yeah, I struggle to think of too many from uh, New Zealand. Uh, I stick my nose in here, and it's weird. Having started with the English wine, there's something um, of what I call of the English wine aromas here. Slightly old-fashioned English wines, but um, uh, that uh, mixture of the green citrus green gauge... Uh, with something that's more floral country garden character. Uh, it feels like the, the fruit behind is going to have uh, quite a bit of weight to it. I, look, I looked at the alcohol, 14%. Um, but uh, the overall impression at the moment is of this green floral nature. And you come to taste it, and that floral character uh, carries on. It's almost as if someone's got um, a dollop of uh, something like Gewürztraminer uh, and put it in there to give it a, a little bit of a floral spicy lift. 
Uh, and then the fruit round it, uh, there's a citrus, a very ripe citrus, um, pear, peach, guava. I get what I call gritty pear skin. You know, if you, if you bite into a pear and, and that, that bit round the skin where there's the, uh, the crunch, and it's not a crunch of uh, as your teeth go through the peel. It's almost like the little bit just inside the peel. Do I prefer it to the Riesling? Um, I, I don't know. I think I, I think I probably just about prefer the Riesling, but uh, there are occasions when I'd find the Riesling uh, maybe that little bit too uh, sharp. And so if I had something uh, that, um, uh, like, I, I, if I had if I had some shellfish, uh, I'd go for the Riesling. If I had some uh, fattier fish, like monkfish, or maybe on that lobster, uh, uh, yeah, the crayfish and that that spectrum, especially if there was a bit of. Uh, uh, richness and creaminess in the sauces. I'd go, I'd go for the Vidello, but um, I like them. I like both of those. And um, the Madeleine Angevin was okay too. Um, Pinot Grigio, hey. But uh, I like three out of four. See you soon.